Hey guys, Brian here from TFS and welcome to our final part of our three part series on how to get that amazing body in 2015. Now, in this part I'm going to discuss a small bit about mindset. Now, the first thing I want to ask is, ask yourself, how many times have you failed in the past, you know, on the journey um, to, to transform your life? You know, how many times have you tried to change old habits and failed? You know, how many times have you shrugged your shoulders and change direction halfway through. You know, you, you started something, you failed and shrugged your shoulders and, and, and then got, you know, just never went back to a gym or, you know, some fitness class or something like that. How many times have you started a nutrition plan on a Monday? And by Thursday evening, you're flagging. By Friday, Chinese in the house. Saturday, bottle of wine, takeaway chips, ruined. That's it. Now you give up. Now I could tell you, a th I could sit here and give you a thousand reasons why you've done that, you know, and... You know, regards to training, maybe the trainer was crap, maybe you weren't motivated, you know, maybe you had a bad nutrition plan to start off with. You know, there, there, there's loads of reasons. But one of the first things I always, you know, um, you know, rather than pointing finger, fingers, you know, I'd, I'd like to, you know, raise some, you know, give you some knowledge that gives you a little bit of awareness, you know, and awareness always precedes change. So you need to know your awareness before you actually decide to change. You know, when I sit down with someone for to, to plan out their training methods, I need to know exactly, you know, their training history, where they failed, where they are right now in their lifetime with their families, stress, time, accountability. And once I have that done, then I can find out the key point. And the key point in all this is your why. W-H-Y. Why are you doing this? Why do you have to do it? You know, why did you come into, into my team and, and decide, look, guys, I need your help. We need to know your why because without your why, you are going nowhere. You, other than that, you're just being, you know, you're just having small reasons. But you need to know your why. Okay, it's the most important thing, you know, that you can do. You can accomplish anything if you know your why, because the why is where it gets into your inner soul, and that's where you get it. You know, you know, most people fail because they don't know their why. They don't have a goal. They don't have. They don't have direction. They don't have accountability. They don't have clarity in exactly why. They want to change their life around, even though they're unhappy, even though they could tell me 10 reasons why they want to do it. Deep, deep down, they cannot, you know, unless you know your why, forget about it. It isn't going to work and you're going to just be a, you know, a rolling, a rolling person that's just going to constantly be defeated. You're going to shrug your shoulders. You're going to give in, you know, and you need to stay away from environments that, that, you know, that bring negativity into you. If you've got friends that say to you, why are you doing that training program? Sure, you look great. But deep down, you know well that you don't feel good, that you don't have energy, that you're not confident, that you're not happy, that you want to fit into the old clothes that you did when you were 20 years of age. You know, and you can't do it if you have your why and you stick to it. And along with your trainer, you plan out a set goal and you work your way and, and you work towards it. I love the reverse engineering. If you've got two stone to lose, well, let's plan that out. 12 weeks, work back. How much you have to lose? You have to lose 0.4 kilo a week. Okay, this is how long it'll take us. Step by step process to get to your why. And you can do it and you will. And, you know, everything then bounces off that. Training, nutrition, relationship with the coach, relationship with your gym, your community. Okay, so final point. Find out your why. Write it down. Make sure it's ever in your car, in your fridge. Then you're going to get direction. And once you've got direction, then you've got awareness and awareness always precedes change. And then you can change any way you want. Okay? Okay. Take care. Bye now for now.